book I am using is a Gamagatsu SS15 in size 2, and the thread is Vivis 10 aught in brown. Start your thread down the hook shank of an eye length or two. Now tie in some hook wrap. In this case I am using UTC Sparkle Braid in a tan color. Once you tie it down to the bend of the hook, then set it aside on your material clip. Then select a small amount of dark brown craft fur and clip it off of the swatch. Pinch up the fur a bit tightly and pull out the under fur. Now make a pinch far up the selection and pull out the shorter fibers. Then place those fibers so the tips align with the longer fibers. And this will make your selection a bit more bushy at the tips. Now measure out your craft fur to about double the hook shank length and clip the craft fur to measurement. Then tie in the craft fur so the tips are facing the opposite direction, out past the hook eye. Now select and clip about double the amount of tan craft fur, then prepare and tie it in in the same way as the dark brown fur. Clean up the tag ends with tight wraps. Now bring your thread down to the bend of the hook. And separate about a third of the tan craft fur from the bunch and pull it rearward. I find wetting your fingers can help you select a cleaner and neater bunch. Make five to six wraps and tie that down right on top of the hook shank. Now make seven wraps of your hook wrap up the hook shank tightly. And capture it with a few wraps, then set it aside again. Separate some more tan craft fur and tie it in on top of the hook shank again. Make seven more wraps with the braid and capture it. Now separate the rest of the tan fur from your brown fur. If you don't get all the pieces, no worries. Just do the best that you can. This time we'll make eight wraps with your hook wrap and then cut off the waist when you capture it. Now pull the dark brown craft fur over everything and tie it in with multiple tight wraps. Reverse tie in some white craft fur now. And snip off the tag ends close. You also want to tie it in up to the hook eye, so span the area with your thread. This could be tricky, but take your time and you'll get it. After a couple of wraps, then span that space again and return the thread to the other wraps. Now pull back the white craft fur and tie it in tightly. And then wet finish your fly. Now we're going to want to select the right sized eye. This is an 8mm and it's way too large. However, this is a 4mm and it is way too small. Just right, this 6mm eye. It's going to cover all the wraps at the head but it won't be too large for this fly. So you paint a little super glue on the side of the head and place the eye on. And do the same thing on the other side, but make sure the eyes are placed on evenly. Now to create the head on the fly. Squeeze a bit of a thinner viscosity UV resin in the space made by the eyes. This is Solares' thin formula that I'm using. Zap it with your UV light, and then do the same thing with the space underneath as well. I like to do one more step, and that is to paint on this bone dry formula around the head. It just makes a really nice finish, and it also adds security for those eyes. And there we have it, your fly is finished. As you can see, the craft fur has excellent movement under the water. Also, the fly seems to slowly sink, which gives it a suspension type action. A quick strip will move the fur and send it darting forward. Then when you pause it, it'll just hover almost with a very, very slow sink. This fly works great for many saltwater and freshwater predatory fish. Hey, thanks for watching everyone. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. Also check the description section of the video for a list of materials I use on this fly. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.